Our question 8 states that the maximum speed of a train is 98 km per hour. It takes 10 hours to cover the distance of 500 km. Find the ratio of its average speed to maximum speed. Now let us look at the information given in the question. It is given in the question that maximum speed is equals to 90 km per hour. Total distance covered is equal to 500 km. Time taken to cover this distance is equal to 10 hours. Now in this question, we do not need to change unit from km per hour to meter per second because all the quantities given in the question are in terms of kilometers and hours. So, we have to find the ratio of average speed of the train to the maximum speed of the train. So, we have information about maximum speed of the train. What we have to find here is average speed. And we know that average speed is equals to total distance divided by time taken to cover that distance. So, we know that total distance covered is equals to 500 km and time in which this distance was covered is equals to 10 hours. So, average speed is equals to 500 km divided by 10 hour is equals to 50 km per hour. Now, the ratio of average speed to maximum speed is equals to 50 is to 90 which is equals to 5 is to 9 and this is your required answer. Question 9 states that a car starts from rest and acquire a velocity of 54 km per hour in 2 seconds. Find the acceleration and second part is we have to find distance travelled by car Assume motion of the car is uniform. Now before solving the question, let us first note down the information given in the question. So in the question it is stated that car starts from rest. Since car is starting from rest, so its initial velocity Vi would be equal to 0. And the car is acquiring a velocity of 54 km per hour in 2 seconds. So, our final velocity is equals to 54 km per hour. And time given is t is equals to 2 seconds. Now, here in this case, final velocity is in km per hour and time is in seconds. So, what we have to do is we have to convert this final velocity into meter per second. So, uh, we already know that 1 kilometer per hour is equals to 10 by 36 meter per second. So, final velocity is equals to 54 times 10 divided by 36 is equals to 15 meter per second. Now in part 1 of the question we have to find the acceleration. So we know that acceleration A is equals to change in velocity delta V upon time which is equals to 15 minus 0 divided by 2. Here 15 is final velocity and 0 is our initial velocity. So we get acceleration A is equals to 7.5 meter per second whole square. Now in second part of the question, we have to find the distance travelled by the car and we have to assume that motion of a car is uniform. So uniform motion means rate of change of velocity remains constant or we can say that acceleration of motion remains constant and uh, distance traveled can be find using the equation s is equals to ut plus half 
8t square. So we are using this particular equation because we have knowledge of all these quantities involved in this equation. For example, we have the knowledge that uh, initial velocity which is vi is equals to 0. Acceleration we have just calculated to be 7.5 meter per second square and we also know the time is equals to 2 seconds. So putting in all these values in this equation we get S is equals to 0 times 2 plus 1 by 2 7.5 times 4. On calculating this we get S is equals to 15 meters. Our question 10 states that an object dropped from a cliff falls with a constant acceleration of 10 meter per second square find its speed 5 seconds after it was dropped. So let us first gather the information given in the question. So in the question it is given that an object is dropped from cliff. So acceleration of the object after dropping is a is equals to 10 meter per second whole square. We have to find its speed 5 seconds after it was dropped. So our time t is equals to 5 seconds and our initial velocity vi is equals to 0 because initially stone is at rest. So here we would use the equation v is equals to u plus a t where u is the initial velocity. So final velocity or velocity after 5 second is equals to 0 plus acceleration is 10 meter per second whole square times t which is equals to 5 seconds. So our final velocity is equals to 50 meter per second. Now this question 11 is a conceptual question. You don't have to do any calculation for this question. So let's look at our question. It states that a ball is thrown upwards and it goes to the height 100 meter and comes down. So what is the net displacement and what is net distance? So let us assume a ball goes up to this point. So this is the initial point from which the ball is thrown upwards. And the question is saying it reaches a height of 100 meter and then again come down to this point only. So again this point is also our final point. So as the ball comes down to its initial point, so net displacement is equals to zero and net distance is equal to total distance covered by the ball which is 100 meter in going upward direction and 100 meter is the distance traveled by the ball when it comes back to the initial point. So total distance or net distance is equals to 100 meter plus 100 meter which is equals to 200 meter.